Well, I just saw this one from a distance, and it didn't look like much, but once I got closer, you could see all the crazing in there. So it looks like it's a big opal or something. Let's check it out. It's massive. That's weird, I've never seen something like this in this creek before. It's like a big chunk of, yeah, opal or something. I don't know. It's pretty cool though. I'll have to take it down to the creek and wash it up. Yeah, that is by far the biggest opal that I ever found. Just common opal, but yeah, you don't see them like this that often around here. They're, uh, yeah, never this big. So that's pretty cool and be awesome to find out where that came from, but it's probably come from miles and miles away, so yeah. It'll be something for another day to look for. There's lots of opal coming down this creek, so it's a good sign. But yeah, let's see what else we can find. I just saw this, and it looks like a nice piece of brown jasper, or it could be a chert, but I think more likely a jasper around here. Got some pretty cool banding in it. The lighter, lighter beige kind of color. So yeah, that's a pretty cool piece. Happy with that. spotted this little guy sitting in the ledge of the uh, gravel bar here. You can see it's kind of glowing. Nice little one. Looks like it has some common opal on it and stuff like that, but should be a pretty interesting one. Just got up and I was actually sitting on this one. Looks like a bit of agate in there mixed in with the host rock. It kind of saturated it, so it's almost like a jasp agate in a way. See, there's a little bit just kind of mixed in there. And some of it has some pretty cool patterns in it, so. Yeah, that'd be pretty interesting once you polish it. This one looks pretty nice. It's got some quartz on top, I think. Oh, it's almost like a bluish color. That's a pretty nice one. There, uh, There is a spot for blue agates around here that I want to check out. But I haven't been there yet, and there's uh, some water line going on in there at the very bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Some nice water line in there. Really fine water line. But yeah, I'll go rinse it off at the creek. You can see it has a really nice blue and gray color to it. And then inside, 
It has some really nice waterline banding. And on top of the waterline is just quartz. But yeah, lots of the quartz around here, it tumbles up pretty well, so. Yeah, it's pretty nice stuff. find one egg you always look close by and see if there's any more because they usually like to fall out all in the same places so wherever there's one there will probably be more and uh, you can see there's a really nice one here that has some fortification banding which is one of my favorite types of banding because it goes like all the way around the agate. Waterline is pretty cool too but I don't know, fortification is just one of the classic shapes. But yeah, that white in there is the common opal, and then the clear is the agate, so it kind of bands in between opal and the agate. But that one might have some nice shadow banding if I polish that up. The bands are pretty close. Just looking over here, you can see there's a nice piece of jasper actually. Might be, might even be petrified wood. I've never really seen petrified wood around here, so I wouldn't know, but it looks pretty similar. Still a cool piece of jasper, whatever it is. Well, I think that's going to do it for this trip. I found some pretty nice stuff and I should probably get back and clean it all up and I should probably get back to camp because they're probably getting worried. I've been out here for a few hours now, so yeah. Uh, if you liked the video, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. It would really help me out and get my videos a little further out there. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.